At the Museum of Industry, we're more than just the largest museum in Atlanta, Canada. We're more than foundries and factories, machines and iron and steel. We're really about people, workers and their families who built our communities, dug coal, laid train tracks, raised families, and looked out for new opportunities. We're located in Pictou County, the heart of industrial Nova Scotia. You'll find us just off Highway 104 at exit 24. The museum grounds are a National Historic Site, where Nova Scotia's first major coal mine and its foundry were established in 1827. Coal mines across northern Nova Scotia fueled steamships, trains, and factories. They also employed thousands of people over the years. It was hard, dangerous work. Some miners became dragermen, specially trained rescue teams that saved the lives of their fellow miners during fires and explosions underground. At home, in mining towns like Spring Hill, Stellarton, and Glace Bay, wives made paychecks stretch to care for growing families, the next generation of miners. These busy communities built churches, organized sports teams, and supported one another through the hard times. Nova Scotia in the 1800s was a rapidly changing place. Factories were multiplying and a network of new railroads connected our communities to the rest of the country. All this growth created lots of opportunities for recent immigrants looking for work and for young people training as machinists, engineers and mill workers. At the start of the century, steam engines replaced water wheels as the main source of power. By 1900, the age of electricity had arrived. Electric lights, appliances, and radio transformed life at home and connected people to the wider world. Brings word from the men below that they're going to hear tapping. They're going to hear the men on the workings breaking down the rock. Changing times, changing ways. In 1899, an exciting new technology, the automobile, made its appearance on Nova Scotia's streets. Entrepreneurs in our province were quick to take advantage of the demand for cars and many other new products too. Even greater changes were in the air. During the Second World War, women contributed to victory by going to work in Nova Scotia's factories. Women continued to seek opportunities after the war, many by starting their own businesses or working in the expanding service industry. Our exhibits are open year-round for you to explore the stories of work and workers in Nova Scotia. In the summer months, you can talk with our interpreters and see demonstrations of our sawmill and machine shop. We'll look forward to seeing you at the Museum of Industry. And don't let the name fool you. You'll be surprised how much fun you'll have.